this is all in one pot kind of recipe amazingly so this is muffin and uh peanut soup with rice cassava was added to it man this is a new method a new recipe never seen anything like that in my life obvious i'm not a snigger lazy wow i had no idea that's going to be like that negative maybe my wow Saba. Très bien. Yeah, it's jam. Ah. Uh, yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, no. Degloti len gagne ke barbangi. Teulo koma etanga kama dwaji. So my voice and my face has changed because man, yesterday I was kind of having some headache kind of yeah so it has really changed my feel but still we move. Since we are here we need to connect the dots and it is what it is our core. Yeah. Everything is unique in their own style and their own way. This is proper traveling sea. Having to live from cooking in Sinaco. Make it, make sure you share, you tell a friend, you tell a brother, subscribe to the page, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Man, let's do this. Mafe. Yapu. Amnokas. Busaf. Kani. Kani. Patat. Patat. Yambi. Yambi. Yakute. Yakute. It is what it is. Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how you are doing this boy? Who can we send the code? I'm back again, or Kodo. Yeah, the Ghana boy is in Senegal, or Kodo. And I'm about to try the local food they have over here. So I'm in Sali Mobo, and today's recipe is called Mafe. Okay, so this is Mafe, and uh, it's boiling. It's like peanut soup, and it's just like the same we have in Ghana. So it tastes exactly like peanut soup, exactly the same. No problem. Ah, you tell me, Nantela, wow, 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 wow. But the only difference is that the steps or the procedure every day we prepare this food is different. As I keep saying every day, Africa has the same recipe, but the procedure is that was different. So as an African, you should be open minded enough to try any other food from any other African country. And the taste of this food was also amazing and delicious. Man, it's a much tried food. You need to try it and you love it. Trust me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the first time watching, kindly subscribe, share, tell a friend, follow the page and like and comment. You know, let's showcase African food to the world and to us Africa. It's about time. Support this page and uh, it's good to share. Let's do this. Well, this, okay. is, this is a cut some coin. Yeah, pillar I'm soup. So we'll start by washing our meat for the muffin. And I uh, started to say it's a soup. But I think it's a more than like kind of stew soup form. Yeah, so this is the meat that we use for uh, this recipe. Okay, this is our meat. So we start by adding some oil to the pan and uh mafe. Mafe. Okay. 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 So while the oil is heated. Hey. <laughs> Man, it's kind of, it's kind of rich, you know? Straight from the water, it goes inside the hot oil. Wow. You need to be careful, don't try this at home. Everything is being mixed together. Put together. Man, she just placed something over here. Experience mama. Experience mama. <laughs> So the, the pot was shaking and uh, she just placed this iron rod over here to prevent it from shaking. Yes. Now it's very stable. Yes sir. That's, that's why you need to have an old lady at home. Yeah. So this is how they peel the cassava. So the way they peel their cassava is different from ours, from Ghana. Yeah. So this is spring onions and goes inside. So they have a lot of uh, onions and garlic into their food. And that's amazing. I keep saying, these people from... We should ask our Ghanaians, we should add ourselves. Senegal, Mali, Niger. These people have a specific like, our kind of food that they eat that keeps them, or keeps them very strong. These people are very strong when it comes to this, our African continent. They are really strong, yeah? And this is the kind of food that they eat. Arokodo. Arokodo. <laughs> this is Nokas. No, Nokas. It's the art of pounding your seasoning together. 
This is how it looks like. Look at that. My V. My wow. Saba. Très bien. Yeah, it's a jam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yang nokas. Yang nokas. Okay, I'm nokas. My nokas. My nokas. Mafé. Mafé. Yeah, mafé. Mafé pi. Mafé pi. The love. Wow. Alors quoi? Est-ce que complet? Oui. Alors oui. Okay. Onion is being added. How the pan is taking place? Okay, so add a little bit of water to the cow to make it soft. Okra is being chopped and added to the pounded ingredients. We pound the okra two together. So this my or this art or this steps or this procedure might look weird to you, but trust me, I keep saying these people over here eat healthy. The most organic food that you have in Africa, they have it. In fact, that jollof that you know that you claim that you bring the best jollof. They invented the jollof that we have in West Africa and even in Africa. Yeah? So, it is what it is. It looks weird, but very delicious. Trust me. Visit Senegal. <laughs> so, it's been like 20 minutes since the water was added to the steam. And then now we're adding our tin tomatoes. Man, this tin tomatoes look a bit darker. And uh, we're making muffin. And again, as you saw the beginning, oil was added and the meat was, was placed inside. It was it was steamed different. Not like how we do our own, just we boiled uh, the meat with water. Like they did with, with oil. And now steamed tomatoes has been added to it. So you mix everything together. Sauce mafe. Sauce mafe. Sauce mafe. Yeah, adding again oil to it. After stirring the, with uh, the meat, yeah, we're now adding our paste, the tomato paste, uh, the peanut paste, sorry. Yeah. So the paste goes in straight like that. Because basically in Ghana, when we're doing a, uh, a peanut paste or anything with peanuts, we, we stir fry the peanuts separately, then we add it. But here, it goes in straight like that. But I believe it's going to be on fire for a long time because you know peanuts if you're not careful with peanuts the pressure of peanuts you might end up hurting people's stomach so i believe this is going to be on fire for a long time before it's be ready since they didn't stir fry it uh, separately so we mix everything together uh, i believe it's peanut stew not, not soup stew yeah, I believe it's still not soup. <laughs> wow. So I believe this cassava and the aubergine and uh, the potato and potatoes is going inside. Mm. And this is how it looks like. Wow, everything goes in straight like that. Wow. <laughs> what has been added? Wow. Man, this is a new method, a new recipe. Never seen anything like that in my life. Obvious, I'm not a snigger lazy, but wow, I had no idea that it's going to be like that. Jacote, that's the origin. The aubergine and the, 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 the potatoes and everything goes inside. Jacote, patas, pomiter. Wow, amazing. Pepper has been added on top of it. Wow, look at this. This is all in one pot kind of recipe. Amazingly. Wow. And they cover it for to boil. Their steps and process of making their food is very is different. Since they add in everything to the pot, it really takes time before one food gets ready. So if they want to eat in the afternoon, they make sure they start mid-morning before the afternoon comes, or one o'clock, two o'clock, the food will be ready. Because their cooking takes a lot of time before it gets ready. Because the aluminium can be hot, they fuse this uh, uh, what we call this material over here to lift. When anytime they want to open it, you can see they have materials on top of the lid. And uh, that will help them from lifting it without getting hit. This rice is a broken rice, a local rice from Senegal. So we use this for a mafa, mafe. So they make sure that the water is nice and warm. 
you see the other stuff she's gonna be put is look her right. Yeah. You squeeze, you rub, you press, mim yeah. yeah. so like you know, mim you know. So it goes like take time before to be thin. So the rice has been left or kept inside uh, a sieve and uh, it's been steamed. As I've been saying in my other videos, they steam their rice before they cook it or they boil it. So a hole is being created in the middle for the vapor to come up and steam the rice first. And they say doing this help the rice to cook early when it's added to the water. So like that, and they will cover down to prevent any vapor from escaping with a rope or material and they cover it you know material also absorbs some heat and vapor okay so wetting it will absorb or prevent the vapor from escaping so it goes round like that around the pot making sure that everything is tight and firm yeah. this is some amazing way of cooking in Senegal okay so this is Mafei and uh, it's boiling without without adding a salt to salt to taste. Me, I mean from top. Okay, so without, without adding our our pounded uh, ingredients. Ah, uh, okay. it's juicy like that. Uh, knock, 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 knock. Okay, so yeah. so the rope or the material is being taken off, and now it's time to boil the rice. So now you flip it, and the rice will now go inside the boiling water inside the pot. Okay, we have salt rate, and now we stir everything together. So we are now then one magi to our uh, soup or stew. Yeah, yeah. Mafe. Yeah. Musa. Musa. Ah. Yeah. Stay it. So basically, it seems like this is a potom poto. That's how I feel it's like it's a potom poto. Yeah. But this is potom poto has cassava in it. It has uh, potatoes, everything in it. So I don't know. And moreover, it's spinach and Ghana potom poto. We use, use palm nuts to do it. Abe or stew. So this is a different version or different setup altogether. So it seems like you put on potos single version, that's how I feel it. Yeah, put on potos. Okay, so now we're now adding a bit of oil to the rice. And uh right. Okay, so oil of very little. So a different seasoning has been added to it. I believe I don't know if it's black pepper. As I say, I'm very sure this is Kukuya uh, Potage. Yeah, this is a pot of pot of That's the version of it. Yeah, so the mafia is ready and uh, it's kind of pot of pot but it will be served with rice. It's ready, so we're about to distribute it or share amongst ourselves. When the food is ready, the whole community benefits, the whole neighborhood benefits. Because it's mostly a compound house, so when one cooks, the whole neighborhood is supposed to have some. So again, you spread around to, air, to allow air to circulate, to get cooled quick. Okay, so this is mafe and uh, some rice. And then now the, the peanut soup or sauce goes on, on top like that. Uh, so basically it's like peanut soup with, with rice, but this has cassava and uh, Overging and uh, potatoes, everything inside. Yeah. I know. So, this is mafe and uh, peanut soup with rice. Cassava was added to it. The hell like that. Yeah, this is, this is a katsum coin. Yeah, peanut soup. So, it tastes exactly like peanut soup. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, so that's for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Seeing new culture from Senegal and now African food. And I mean, I hope you love it. 
yeah so it is what it is for shizzle man is make sure you share the video subscribe follow the page and uh, it's so important to do so so that the page can grow let's do this again record them.